We've been discussing music and how it conjures up certain feelings. So I thought, let's ask an actor. So do you actually use music? How does it play a part in your method acting? Yeah, I mean, uh, music is everything to me. I mean, music is the trigger to all my moods. And so when I was a kid and I even thought about being an actor, it was mainly from songs. I mean, film scenes affected me a little bit, you know, that they made me wonder, I wonder what it's like to film that, I wonder what it would be like to be an actor. But it was music that got on the inside of me that made me want to express certain emotions and certain characteristics inside of me. And when it comes to method acting or uh, getting getting sort of prepared for a role or even an audition, a, a quick way to create a mental space that you want is just by putting on a song. So like, for example, if I want to be a little bit uh, somber or sad, you know, I might put on Lana Del Rey. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I've actually, I've rung the right person. This is great news. And I'm hoping you you will agree to play a game with me. It's nothing scary. Don't worry. I'm up for it. You've even agreed to it. And I haven't even told you what it is. Basically, I say a phrase and then you say the first song that comes to your mind that you think would get you in that mood. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, right. First phrase. My enemy is annoying me but I don't want him to sense my weakness. For that, I would listen to Styles P. Styles P is my favourite rapper. Uh, he's on the Bad Boy label now, then he was on the uh, Rough Riders label. Styles P brings out my kind of aggression. You sound like you know a lot about that. Is that, <laughs> is that the thug side of you? Dealing with it and controlling it and uh, you know, patting it on the head and, uh, and keeping it at bay. Okay, well then let's let's move on to the next phrase. I would rather go skateboarding with my mates. Uh, that one, Def Leppard Women. That that song, the video even starts with a kid on a skateboard. Okay, cool. Um, I am the king of the castle. I own my own mountain and a goat farm. Now instantly that makes me think of Tito Tito Tarantula, a song called The House That Love Built. That was from the film Desperado. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing, Jan, the reason I'm laughing is that you actually have a song on the tip of your tongue that relates to that feeling of being a king of a castle with a mountain and a goat farm. <laughs> That's what's very interesting. That was the easy one. Okay, lastly then, I think I L-O-V-E her and wouldn't mind a snog. Um, the Smiths, heaven knows I'm miserable now. Oh, really? That gets you in a snogging mood. <laughs> oh. oh, bless you. Okay, that was so that was a fun game, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good game. I just wanted to ask you a little bit about the film The Cliffs of Freedom. Is that the first time you rode a horse? I did a film before that called Day of the Falcon, and I was trained on horses then, and that was the first time I'd been on a horse. I grew up in the inner city, England, Birmingham, and London, and so uh, I was never on a horse. But yeah, in the Sahara Desert, we trained for uh, that first film, and then I trained on a much higher level for Coast of Freedom in New Mexico, just because we had to do a lot more mm-hmm. precise things on the horse. And so, yeah, I, I, I took to that really, really, really well and enjoyed it as well. If you were offered the role of crocodile dundee in this remake that's just going on in my head at the moment doesn't actually exist i don't think would you (laughs) would you wrestle a real crocodile would i I have had training no well would you wrestle a real crocodile is kind of the question would would the crocodile have had training well Um, (laughs) if the crocodile had had some hardcore psychotherapy and uh lessons in love and it had its mouth tied and i was wearing very coarse denim like old 501 Oh, nice. You know, caught, in my, caught in my inner thigh. Then, uh, yeah, I'd give it a good old rest, so why not? Well, I'm, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. So maybe we'll see you in Australia filming that at one point. You never know. Thank you. You might see me uh, dead there as well. <laughs> no, don't say that. It's all in my head at the moment, remember. It's not happening. Look, I'm going to let you go, Jan. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure.